Remember this thing? This mod? Rizmac Lexotic? This thing has a huge following right now. I mean, uh, you have Filipino groups. I believe they're Filipino groups. Entirely dedicated to the Rizmac Lexotic Squawk mod. And the major issue with this really was the squonk bottle. But now they have a full silicone squonk bottle by Rizmac themselves that fit and work just fine. Perfectly. No hacks required. Then they came out with another Luxotic, which wasn't a squonk mod at all. They got me confused because if you ask me, I mean, I've been a marketing consultant for about 15 years. If you have a successful product with, uh, there's a squonk mod that's called Luxotic. You don't create uh, something else that has Luxotic to it right after this one. It just it dilutes the brand. So this time around, they've came out with something. I don't know. I would say it's genius, but it's also incredibly crazy. The Wismac Luxotic MF mod. Now this mod has got so many options in it. You can use it as a regulated or unregulated mod. And I'm not talking about switching between modes. I'm talking about replacing the entire board inside. That's crazy. And you can also use it as a squonk mod or a non-squonk mod. And you can also use it as a single battery mod or a dual battery, dual 8650 mod uh, in a parallel configuration. So it's like the bringing back something from uh, the Wismag Noisy Cricket 2. So, I yeah, I this is very early, guys. I just got this like yesterday. So this is going to be a first look review. I hope I cover as much as possible. Obviously, been using it for only a few hours and I don't know if there are going to be any issues with it. Uh, and from what I can see, it's, it's actually, <laughs> it's pretty neat. All right, let me show you the Wismag Exotic MF box. So here's the box for the Wismag Luxotic MF box, social media on the side, and at the back some details about what you get inside. There's actually lots of stuff inside. So let's go through them in the most logical way that I can think of. First off, let me show you the Wismag Luxotic MF box itself. So I'll consider this as a kit. It comes with the Skonk mod and the RDA as well. You also get a user manual by Wismag. And this is actually the Guillotine version 2 user manual. Another user manual. This is for the Luxotic MF box. A warning card. An additional longer uh, PEI. 810 size drip tip, organic cotton, and Allen wrench for putting in your screws, gold plated standard 510 pin, and lots of additional screws. Some of those screws are going to be for the board and for the body. And then you get this thing right here, which is actually a complete circuit board um, to use the uh, Luxotic MF box in an unregulated mode. So basically, to get the same thing as you would with this thing right here, the original Wismag Luxotic. With this board right here, all these are just plastic pieces where the screen and the wattage up, wattage down buttons are supposed to be. You get three battery adapters. So the first is the 18650 to 2700 uh, battery adapter. This is a sleeve for an 18650 battery and these two are supposed to work together. This right here is to use the MF box as a non squonk mod using dual 18650 batteries. I will show you how this works in a while. Last but not least, you also get a set of these pre wrapped, pre made coils. A quick size comparison with the original Wismag Luxotic, which is an unregulated mod, and this one right here. Definitely larger and wider as well. 27.5 millimeters in depth, 47 in width, and about 87 in height. So when you get it, you're going to have the regulated board in here. Wattage down, wattage up buttons. And these are actually rubberized kind of uh, buttons. And you have your screen right here. Your fire button. Nice and clicky. At the bottom, you have manufactured by Wismac. And on this side, you actually have your squonk hole, which you have this little thing right here. 
This is super annoying, really annoying to press your squonk bottle, you basically squonk it this way if you want to. Well, not really. Actually, I'll show you how it works. You can remove this part and this thing, you can just push it out. It's held in place by four magnets. So this is actually used when you do not want to squonk. So inside you find the squonk bottle and this is a pretty long squonk bottle. This time around, they've gone with a full silicon bottle. The capacity of this, judging from other stuff I've used, should be about 7 mils, 7.5 mils. The position of the squonk tube is offset a little bit. And here's how it looks like inside. The tube is already pre-cut to the correct length. The reason the tube is offset, if you push aside the ribbon, is that you will see where the squonk hole goes in. It's right here. These two are for your battery contacts. So if you do not want to use this uh, in, a, in a squonk, as a squonk mod, you will see that there are two indications of the batteries and both are positive at the bottom, so it's got a parallel configuration. So if you want to use a regular 2700, 21700 battery, just put it in this way, positive to the bottom. The screen turns on. Right, and you can do up to 100 watts with this using a 2700 battery, battery indication, ohms, voltage, amps. And this is your standard Joytag Wismag kind of board. So three clicks and you can switch from wattage, temperature, memory 3, M2, M1, stainless steel, titanium, nickel and bypass and then back to wattage mode. Holding down the two buttons will lock the mod and unlock it as well. You can turn logo on or logo off with two clicks. Holding down the fire button and the wattage down, you can go uh, into stealth mode, stealth on, and now stealth off. All right, so if you want to know details about how this thing works, it's basically uh, more or less the same as uh, Joytag products or Wismac products because they are basically the same thing, same company. Uh, and I won't go through that. Uh, it's been around for a while, but I'm, I'm gonna talk about the simple stuff or the most interesting parts of this mod right here. So obviously if you want a squonk, then just use it in squonk configuration right here. Attach the tube right to the top part right here. No special tube feeding mechanism. So you should be able to use uh, regular bottles as well. As long as the tube has enough leeway to actually make it to the bottom this is offset but i think if you have a shorter bottle and as long as the tube can get to the the uh, feeding pin right there that should be fine and you can use an 18650 battery with the adapter and then just position it as you would now if you want to use it as a dual 18650 mod then what you will do is just position this thing right here and this cutout will close the squonking hole. So just put this in right here. Right? As far as I know, there's nothing to actually hold it in place. Uh, it's, it just sits on top there and it's going to maintain the parallel configuration. Right? As you can see, two negatives into one. So just put this right here this hole or this cutout is smaller for an 18650 battery should fit in really nicely over here positive to the bottom you got to push it up a little bit now this part right here is a bit too large for an 18650 battery and that's where this silicon sleeve comes in handy it maintains the height but uh, it increases the width of it. Getting this on is just like putting on a condom. Okay, maybe a bit tighter than putting on a condom. Yeah! Right? And now you can slot this one in right here. It should fit nicely. Push it up. Just like that. Right? But with the dual 8650 battery in parallel mode, still allows you only maximum of 100 watts.
To put the door back on, you have to put the bottom part first. Just like this. Right. And now you have a regular uh, non-squonking mod dual N650 batteries in parallel configuration. I find however that you may have issues of uh, a gap right there. Okay. And that's going to depend on uh, your batteries, how well you have your batteries inside. I think my batteries don't have any special thick wrap to them. It's just the default battery wraps for the VTC five A's right so I would say that you can see a gap yeah most definitely is there a rattle nope does it fall off nope yeah if you push really hard then the whole thing could fall off but uh, I don't know why you'd want to do that when you remove the batteries, this part is just going to fall off, right? So that is something that you'd want to take note of. And the other thing is that there is no USB port for charging. That's going to be one tedious thing. So the ribbon, I guess if you put the ribbon back where it's supposed to be, that will eliminate some of the gap you saw earlier. And so yeah, it's a wonky solution, uh, but it works. And now let's talk about this thing right here, getting a separate board i've never seen this in any mod but the first thing that i was wondering is that oh am i supposed to solder this in no you do not have to all you need to do is get a screwdriver and let me remove the rda the 510 is spring loaded so with your regular coil master screwdriver it should be the correct uh, size to put in this board right here what you have to do is remove these two screws at the bottom and the screw on the top right. This one right here. This screw is longer than the other three screws that you can see on top. And it is what actually holds uh, this plate in place. And then remove these two screws. If for whatever reason you happen to remove the other three screws on top, you will notice that they are not the same. The three screws the three screws here are countersunk screws and this is not. So if you try to put this anywhere here, it will not fit. And now just grab a hole of this from where the screen is and just pull it out. Right. So your buttons will obviously drop out. And the wattage up, wattage down buttons, very flexible in a single piece. That's a great idea. That will also just drop out. And now you have to remove all these gold plated screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So no soldering required. These are just held in place by the gold plated screws as a direct contact to the 510, as you can see here. And your fire button is attached to the board itself, right? So that's how it works. There are lots of additional screws, as I showed you before, provided, but these screws are very, very small. So make sure that if you want to do this, you are not in a position where you're going to lose some of these gold-plated screws. There you go, an actual circuit board that you can remove without having to solder or desolder anything. Now these have are a bit loose, right? So when you want to screw the board back, make sure that they are in the correct position, right? Sometimes you have to just, just make sure they're in the right position. So now I'm going to put this board, the unregulated Bismarck chip, right onto here. Line up the holes and now what you got to do is um, put all the screws back. I don't recommend that you actually tighten the screws. Just put them in the position first, right? Because you need to really align the screws. I'm going to start with this one, just like that. And now you can see the alignment, if the rest of it is aligned or not. And if it is, then you can just continue putting the rest of the screws back. There you go. And now just tighten everything 
don't overdo it because after all you are working on an actual PCB board everything nicely in place now all you need to use is the fire button and this is a perfect square so no matter which way you put it it's going to work and then just uh, line it up like this push it in and now there's really no use for a screen or any of the wattage up wattage down buttons and then you need to put in the two bottom screws last but not least the long top screw and you're done put in 18650 uh, 2700 battery in here you see LED lights Five clicks to turn the device on or off. Obviously, the unregulated uh, board is going to have some of its features as well, uh, but it's not really clearly explained by Rizmac here. What are the limitations? What is the protections available, etc. All they really show you here is uh, basically, yeah, five times quick succession to turn it on or off. Right, and it says here to remove the six screws on the top and bottom of the mod and do them carefully. So basically they're asking you to remove these two and all these four screws, which is not necessary. You only need to remove uh, you only need to remove this screw right here, which actually holds the board in place. The other three screws are holding the top plate in place and it's not there's no reason to re actually remove it because it's not so easy to remove the top plate. Everything else is soldered inside. It's a very surprising user manual. I think it's very lacking for a, a complex situation where you, you have to switch between two different boards. Now compare that to the um, user manual for the RDA. That's actually very, very long. Oh, yeah, it's in many different languages. So yeah, that's fine. So the guillotine version 2 uh, Has been around for a while now a uh, lots of people love the guillotine version 2 if you love a dual coil RDA With lots of room for your coils and bottom airflow. This is going to be what you're looking for So you got a gold plated squonking pin right there a screw for your negative post with smack guillotine version 2 and it's got this Damascus a fake Damascus kind of uh, design which is actually engraved into the stainless steel and that matches the engraving on this stainless steel for the body part right here 24 millimeters diameter 24 millimeters height without the drip tip 9 I would say 30 millimeters with the white ball 810 drip tip the stainless steel beauty ring they give you is 25 0.5 millimeters so with this on it fits really nice into the luxotic no overhang and here's how the build deck looks like for the guillotine so why is it called a guillotine basically you have this huge single piece of bar right here stainless steel piece that actually just pushes down on the entire coil very much like a, a guillotine now what this means is you have a lot of room for the largest coils that you can find to put it into the guillotine and I think this is a really good RDA for those of you who love huge builds, dual coil etc. So you gotta loosen the screws and then you got to make sure that the two guillotines are up and you can do this by just putting your RDA upside down right and when you put it back upright, the guillotine just it just comes down like a guillotine. I'm going to be using the two coils provided in here, right? So all I have to do is just position this into it and the other one. So these leads are already pre-bent and pre-cut. That makes it a whole lot easier to actually deal with, right? So I'm just going to make sure that I pull it all the way to the airflow just like that and now just tighten down and now I'm going to pull my coils up that should work pretty well 
and now I'm going to do the final tightening just a little bit more one two three four five so when it's firing you see the two LEDs blinking so there's got to be a, a guide on what how many blinks means what etc etc but again I can't find it in the user manual Let's look at the top cap for uh, the guillotine RDA and you have a PEI insert right on top. You can unthread the top part and you can push this one out. It's a bit tight. Uh, it's a bit, no, it's actually very tight, but that's because there are two O-rings, one O-ring that contacts the sleeve and another o-ring uh, for this piece right here with the guillotine rda if you don't like the bottom airflow that you're going to get from right here then you can just uh, swap it you can just swap it to this side now this part will act as the airflow control all right and then you can just put this back on here and now essentially what you have is a side airflow but I'm not going to be using side airflow for this, but just in case you hate bottom airflow, this is what you would, you would do, right? So in order to use this airflow, actually, my coils need to be way, way higher up. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use the bottom airflow. So it's a great idea that you can actually use a regulated or unregulated board in here. Obviously, you're not going to be swapping these uh, the two between the two boards um, on a given day. Mm, you probably already have in mind if you want to use it as a regulated mod which has a bypass mode mind you or you'd want to use it as an unregulated mod and you would choose one of the two boards and then you pretty much uh, stick with it but the batteries and inside configuration as I showed you before you can change anytime you want non squonk mode and remember the whole the bottom feeding pin hole is already sealed with this piece and then just put this in up oh, there's still a gap yes definitely a gap and now when I want to squonk let's take this out take all these things out put in the squonk bottle remember where the angle is just push it in Even with the angle, the tube does look like it's still straining a little bit. And it's not perfectly straight. Put this on. And now you have a, an unregulated squonk mode. With a single 18650 battery. A single 2700 battery. Let's give you a squonk. Squonk bottle seems to be working just nice. The bottom airflow is still adjustable. All right, let me tell you what I think about the Wismac Luxotic MF. The flavor is really good on this one, the guillotine RDA. It helps that it has bottom airflow and the bottom airflow can be restricted. So I'm using it at about this much restriction, right? So I can go wide open with it using the coils provided. Of course, they're already pre-cut. Yeah, we wide open. For these coils included, the flavor really drops a notch, right? So make it more restricted. And back comes the flavor. Very good vapor production as well. 
So, the Wismag Luxotic MF box. First of how much does it cost? So, it's a Wismag product and it's not going to cost an arm and a leg. So, what I can see on gearbest.com, uh, sorry, heavengifts.com, links will be in the description box below. At the moment, it retails for about 65, 80 US dollars and this is very early, uh, very early stages. So, it's actually on pre-order right now at 65, 80. Now, if I can find places with a lower price range you know update the link in the description box below to where you can pick this up right so it usually takes me a day or two so to to actually publish the video from right now when i'm recording it so who knows in a day or two you could have a someone selling it at a, at a lower price but at the moment i can only see it on heaven gifts 65.80 that is really not bad not bad Remember, you are essentially getting two boards, two entire PCB boards. It's unique. It's unique. It's interesting. I was expecting something to go wrong when you put in the board. Now, I don't know how Wismag is going to handle this in terms of a warranty or customer support. Because usually with any mod, if you open it up and you take the board out, that voids the warranty. This one, you actually have to take the board or, or, or it's a it's a feature to take the board out so i don't know if you can have any issues with the board no soldering just the gold plated screws i think they work very well in terms of voltage drop etc i don't notice anything significant with a single 2700 battery in here and a 0 0.2 ohm uh bill which is uh using the included pre-made coils well at least now the luxotic also means a Squonk mod. This is still available, so it's a much smaller form factor. If you want to compare again, much much smaller. I love the Wismag Luxotic. It's a very 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 good uh, mod. All hype aside, it is a very well built mod. Now that they fixed the bottle to a silicone bottle, no issues with this. You can get this in multiple different colors right now. The original Wismag Luxotic. This one right here at the moment you can get it in brushed stainless steel like this. Or you can get it in black. Uh, the black setup is a full black setup so it comes with a black RDA as well. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. So lots of options there. And you don't have to use all the options. If you don't want to, if you don't want to remove the board, you just want, it comes pre-configured as a regulated mod, 100 watts. If you like it that way, just leave it that way. And it comes with a bottle inside, so just leave it as a squonk mod. But it's very, I don't know, Wismag is a company that, they are not afraid to take risks, you know what I mean? I'm sure lots of the products that they come out with, some do really well, like this one right here. And some really flop, but... It doesn't seem to stop them from really coming out with these crazy ideas and implementing them. Uh, I think it's a good thing. I know they have got some bad rap before for some products, but that's what happens when you take lots of risks. Sometimes it doesn't work. With this, I would like to tell you that it doesn't work, but it does. It, it <laughs> It's crazy, this thing. It's really crazy. Now, bear in mind, this is just a first look, so I don't know if any issues are going to pop out. Uh, the only thing that I can find here is the gap in the door. And that's about it. It hits well, works well, no complaints. So that's all for this review. If you want to pick it up, check the link in the description box below. Okie dokie, no more smoky. <laughs>